Hello makers, I'm back from Sweden. For those of you who might not know, uh, 3D Prima sponsored my trip over there so I can go and visit. While I was there, I had a chance to spend some time at the 3D Prima headquarters and seeing as I had my camera gear, I had questions to ask, I decided I might as well do a feature in 3D Prima and show you exactly the scale at which they operate in. Now, when I started this channel two and a half years ago, I had bought myself three printers and one of those three printers was a OneHow Duplicator i3+, Plus, which I did a review on, well, which what feels like a hundred years ago now. Now that printer I had bought from 3D Prima themselves. Um, before all this even started, it was a Black Friday, they had some sales going on and they had free shipping. So I said, why not? So all this feels like it's coming once again to full circle and I figured this would be a perfect time for me to uh, show you guys what 3D Prima is all about. Now 3D Prima is run by three Swedish awesome dudes. There's Jacob, Martin and Andreas and the company has been around since its inception by Jacob in 2014. Their headquarters are currently situated in Malmö in Sweden having several offices and also a massive warehouse stocking a large amount of printers. They have all kinds of filaments and accessories and they also have another office recently opened in Germany. Now as I said 3D Prima started back in 2014. At that time they were just stocking a couple of Wanhao printers and some filaments. Now these were the days where desktop pre-built printers only came in the form of either MakerBot or Ultimaker so it was relatively expensive to own one. The company slowly started growing and demand for 3D printers grew along with it so Martin joined Jacob running the company, followed shortly after by Andreas. From their small office, they moved onto bigger premises, having their first warehouse where in early 2015 they started accepting orders, arriving in pallets and eventually containers, yet they could still barely move within their limited space. Now, fueled by their dream of creating an actual brand, they decided to also start producing their own filament, which at the time was a big thing as you'd rarely find quality filaments with anything resembling even a barcode on the box. Now these were the days where only PLA and ABS were a thing and ABS was much more popular back then. Following that there was the boom of the OneHow printers with the successful launch of the OneHow Duplicator i3 version 2.1 being the cheapest, almost fully assembled 3D printer, um, where 3D Prima couldn't even keep up with the orders due to their limited space and also not being able to uh, financially back the strong request of the market to stock a lot of them at the same time. Now 3D Prima always had this vision to be a European company and not just a Swedish company. In fact, uh, everything they do ships worldwide and for any orders within EU over 100 euros, they do offer free shipping. They have their own brand, which is Prima Creator, and this covers printers, filaments and accessories. They sell over 70 different types of 3D printers and they stock over 50 of them in the hundreds of units. So uh, if you go on their site and you see that there is a printer, possibly a Creality, which says they have over 300 units in stock, they do actually mean they have more than 300 in stock because they do have a massive warehouse where they store all these printers. Now, while I was sitting there uh, asking them questions and listening to their story, it's, it's kind of funny to hear them talk about how much panic they were in or how they were discussing having too many printers when their website hosted only six or seven printers because they didn't feel they could keep up um, with such a stock and they, they thought about actually reducing the number of printers they would be selling. Now while I was there I was also shown some interesting stuff especially their upcoming products within the Prima Creator range which include an all metal uh, Mark 10 hot end kit with a hardened steel nozzle. Now this will be compatible with almost all Creality machines. There are TiVo machines that use the same hot end alpha wise. So it will be an easy swap and giving you a better range of filaments to use on the machine. Now I did manage to get a sample of those here. So I will be doing a video uh, to show you guys how you can swap out the hot ends on any Creality machine, TiVo or alpha wise. During the weekend and the meetup, they also uh, showcase their upcoming Prima Ruby nozzle, which will be able to handle the most abrasive filaments you can throw at it. Now in January 2019 3D Prima was acquired by Ink Club and this will give 3D Prima all the financial backing required for them to grow even further as the market expands. 
and will also give them the opportunity to expand within the e-commerce sector. Having been a customer of 3D Prima for so long, even before we started chatting and, and, and talking about collaborations, I always trusted them because they are some really nice guys over there. They have great customer support and they always treated me very well even before they knew I had the channel. And seeing as I had that service, coupled with the fact that they sponsored my trip over there, this video was really not in their intent. They didn't request this, um, but I felt like I really needed to do it because I need to show you guys um, the great service you can expect from 3D Prima and the huge range of products they have. Now, for those of you who made it this far who don't have Twitter, um, when I got 3D Prima, I had a nice reception. So Andreas bought this packet of Chili Klaus Russian roulette, well, chocolate balls. It's, it's a box full of chocolate balls. Um, some of them are normal milk chocolate, but they go all the way up to um, Carolina Reaper filled chocolate balls. And well, we sat around the table and decided to each have one and lucky me, I got the hottest one. However, Andreas, one of the owners, um, well, yeah, he got the hiccups and that was very, very entertaining. <laughs> okay. Recorded has started. Hmm. Right. Do I get to smell it first? You get to smell it. Everybody, all of them smell the same. Oh. <laughs> this is that to eat from anything. Well, this All right, cheers. Yeah, cheers. cheers. <laughs> Oh my god. Mine had chili. <laughs> <laughs> mine was strong, but. No, mine had chili. They come up in a while. Mm. I got lucky. <clears throat> mine was friendly. Who asked that? <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, the block. I can talk. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna shoot one? Yeah, some. Yeah. Some um. <laughs> <laughs> right, keep going. Yeah. Oh. It's removing. <laughs> it's taking my mind off the pain. Go ahead. <laughs> I want to thank once again 3D Prima for sponsoring this um, this trip for me um, to be able to see how they work in their company um, to be able to attend the 3D Meetup Sweden once again. In the meantime, um, I, I felt like this this should be uploaded. This was not requested, but I felt like I really had to do it. So make sure you check the guys out at 3D Prima down in the video description below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and as always, happy making, guys. Thank you.